Hello and welcome back to our next video. In this video I'm going to be going over a few of the graphing options that we have in Excel Draw, so right over here in the graphing tab. In the previous video we made all of the different shapes that you see on the screen right now and exported it into CAD. So in this video I want to first focus on the Drawing Manager, which is right here. And what the Drawing Manager is, it's a window that is going to show you all the different options that you have for your drawing. So if you bring it over right here, you can see that these are all the shapes that we currently have on this drawing. And you can also see that you have a selection so you can go through and select it and as you go through and select these you can see that different ones are being highlighted so those are the objects that you are selecting you can also see right here that it is telling you what the object is the x y location of it and where it refers to on the sheet so where the value is it also highlights it in the background so this is a very handy uh, little device right here where you can use it to select multiple objects that you've created and you can also change the layers which is something I haven't mentioned before but Excel Draw does have layers available. In fact that zero right there after those long lines of dashes is the embedded layer. So if you want to you can actually go up through here and I'm going to select all of the arcs that we have and as you can see they're all in yellow they're all selected and I am going to go ahead and I'm going to change it to layer one. So I'm going to have those select and I'm going to hit change layer. And now you can see they're all at layer one. Now there's lots of different options you can have inside of this window. For instance, you can change layers back and forth. You can also only show selected layers. So if I just want to show layer one, I can toggle that. Nothing else is shown down below. And if I only want to show layer zero on it, I can select that and now we have only layer zero shown. Or I can show all the layers like I currently have. You also have all these options right here. If you don't like one of the objects, for instance, you draw an arc incorrectly, you did the wrong numbers, you can scroll down through here. Let's select one of the arcs that we have. Okay, there's an arc. You don't like that arc, you can actually go ahead and delete this object. So you can hit delete object and you no longer have the arc. Now, if you don't want, say, the data, you input the wrong values, you can actually go in here and you can delete range. So I'm going to select an arc that we can see down at the bottom. Okay, right there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete range. And as you can see, the range is now gone. You can also delete all of these, which will allow you to start over from start. You can export, you can refresh, or you can open up the graph orientation. All of these are within the drawing manager window. So, so next I'm going to look at the graph orientation. So I've already clicked the graph orientation. It's populating right now. We're going to scroll it over here. And in the graph orientation, we kind of covered this before, but I'm going to go ahead and look at it more in depth. The X, Y, and Z rotations are obviously how you can rotate your object around in three-dimensional space. So just like that, you can rotate it around. You have the zoom function right here where you can go to the plus to zoom in, and you can see the little icon down at the bottom will get smaller and larger as you zoom. And then you can adjust the line size too. So if these lines are a little bit too difficult to see, you can go drop these down, and then you can create larger lines. Auto update will allow the graph to update as you change these values. If you'd like to show the grid, like in a typical Excel graph, you can do that by showing the grid. Or if you would like to show the axis arms, you can also do that as well. And that will show you in three-dimensional space where everything is at. This right here is auto origin, which means that every time you update with a new shape, it's going to automatically reassign the origin to wherever the center point is. Or you can have the origin be at 0, 0 right here, or you can even put in a custom origin, which if you select that, you're agreed with another window right here. The square chart option, if I resize this chart right here, you can see it's going to be a little skewed. You can square your chart at any time with that, and it'll make it nice and square. The default values, obviously we put everything back to default, and if you want to center graph, you can always go back and recenter it. Now these options right here are your scroll and pan options. So you can actually scroll up, you can move the 
image up further or down depending on how far you want to go with it or left and right. These values right here are default values that you can do the top view, bottom view, front view, back view, and side view. So right now that's the top view. Go to bottom view, front view, and so on. And the final part in the uh, graphing window is the generate graph. And generate graph is used in case you want to regenerate a graph and you don't want to open up the graph orientation window. You can also utilize it whenever you are going to do custom exporting. So for instance, I will cover this more later whenever we get into automating Excel Draw. But for now, if you want to auto if you want to optimize your exporting and you want to get, make it so it can automatically export upon doing different things, for instance, export upon generate, every time you click this, it will generate and it'll export an image. So if I have this, I'm going to yeah, automatically open and automatically overwrite. It's set to those settings. I'm going to hit save. And again, we'll get into this later. I just wanted to show this as an option for the graph generate. I can go ahead and I can hit graph generate. Okay, and there it is. So that's a quick way to automize the export of your file. Okay, thank you all very much for watching. Now in the next video, what we're going to be going over, I'm going to be covering the settings tabs and the layers tabs as well. And probably some of the menu settings for the different styles. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. If you would like to leave a comment or you know, leave a suggestion, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you'd like to follow along with our videos, go ahead and subscribe to us because we are going to be uploading more videos on the Excel Draw tool. Thank you all very much for watching.